All right, so this is the stuff that I'm gonna use to stain it. It's an oil-based, it's called Varathane is the brand, and we chose a dark walnut for the tabletop. But before I put that on there, I'm gonna use this pre-stain, uh, it's a wood conditioner. So what you do is you brush it on, uh, you let it dry for about five to 15 minutes, and then you wipe it off, whatever access, excess is left over on the table, you wipe off with a clean rag, and then, as long as you do it, <clears throat> excuse me, as long as you do it within two hours, you can apply your wood stain. So that's, that's the process we're gonna do today, guys, and see how it turns out. Hey, thanks for stopping by, you're just in time, because today, you're gonna see me go through all the steps that it takes to prep, sand, stain, and paint a kitchen table to give it a major transformation. And if this is your first time here, my name is Tim and this is The Tim o Show where I make videos revolved around my side hustles, hopefully to inspire you to get out there and make more money if that's what you wanna do. And if that's not what you wanna do, I make videos that are entertaining. I show you guys time-lapse footage of me doing through processes, me screwing up because you know, I just want you to know that if you got your eye on the prize, go out there, you can get it and you can do it. You might not do it the first try, but you can do it. I'm just a regular guy out here trying to show you that you could do it too so today we're gonna restain this table now I got this on a recent paint job that I had the client was asking me if I knew anybody that might want to take this table well I wanted to take the table now I have a table in my house that looks similar but it's actually a dark walnut on top and it's lighter so I had to sand everything down and I wanted to paint the base of the table white to match the house that I have now so first step was to sand down the table now what I'm doing is I'm using a deglosser it's a TSP, trisodium phosphate, it's like a surfactant, and what it does is it roughs up the paint, the existing paint, and it cleans off any kind of uh, grease or residue that's left behind. Now, I can't sand the edges of the table. You see me doing it by hand here because I use the palm sander on the flat surfaces. Now, if I was to try to use that palm sander on the contour of the table, like you're looking at here, it would totally ruin the shape, and I don't wanna ruin the shape. So I fold the paper really nice and neat, get it in there on the corner, and get all of that clear, protective layer off because if there's any clear protective layer it's not going to accept the stain and you're not going to like the results first step before stain is next step before stain is to give it a wood conditioning what this does is it opens up all the pores of the wood so it can accept stain i chose a dark stain we like dark in our house we have a lot of white and dark to the contrast of our house so keep in mind this is not a project but you could charge for doing something like this this is probably you could charge a good five to six hundred dollars for doing a project like this it will take you about three days if you did it by yourself and this is a quick way to do it now the base i was gonna spray with my sprayer i have an airless Graco 595 sprayer but I kind of wanted to see what it would take to do this project just by hand and not necessarily the right way. Just because not everybody has access to professional equipment and professional tools. So I thought it'd be interesting to do it this way and try some new products. Like this product here is a deglosser. And what it does is it takes the gloss down and kind of gives a little etching so it can accept the paint without having to sand. Because all those little contour pieces is such a headache to try to sand inside of those and all the tables are even worse. So I said, what the heck? Let's try this, uh, I forget the name of the product, but I'll put it in the link in the description below if you guys are interested. Basically, where we're at today is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna throw on some lacquer. I have this uh, brush on lacquer stuff here, clear wood finish, and this is what we use in the inside of my house. Keep in mind, you don't ever wanna shake lacquer. Shake, stain, you can shake. Lacquer, you wanna steer it. So this is about half full, so I've just been slowly kind of doing this and just uh, swooshing it around, making sure not to shake it, not to create any bubbles. You don't want any bubbles. So one of the reasons I chose to do lacquer is because it is a kitchen table and it's gonna get messed up. Like if you're writing on a thin piece of paper and it kind of digs into the lacquer a little bit, lacquer is easy to repair, whereas a polyurethane would probably have been the better option because it has it in there and it dries really hard, but repairing a polyurethane, there's more work that goes into repairing. So that's kind of why I decided to choose. Um, if you guys are looking into starting your own paint business, and you're not sure where to start, I'll leave a link in the descriptions below to a checklist. And it, what it does, it just helps you keep moving forward. And if you're interested in how do I bid my jobs and how do I estimate how much to charge for doing my jobs, I'll also leave a link in the description for a calculator and a, a checklist. So uh, it's like a, like a sheet that I use to go through and uh, bid my jobs. So I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this long. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I got more vending machine video content coming out very soon, so stick around. And also more of my podcast series coming out very soon. So we're making a lot of moves. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you guys wanna see me paint the chairs, don't go anywhere because there's a few little minutes of that right here. Hey you guys, put steer in the comment section for me.
because I know I, I don't say stir right. I do it all the time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Peace. Hey, you stuck around to watch the chair painting. Right on. Hey, if you're still here, you're a real one, and I really appreciate it. Team Dino in the house. So check it out. Put one time, put the phrase one time in the comment section, and I'll get you guys a special gift. Because my real ones deserve a special gift. Stick around, and don't go anywhere, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.